because Locario, in my opinion, it's the best, the best dating coach on YouTube or whatever the fuck. Everything he says, ambulance. Everything he says, I have nothing against him. I have no contradiction. Everything he says, I say, yeah, it's it's uh, this guy. It's on point, you know. This guy is good. This guy is how he's supposed to be. Game Kings: The Definition of Game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, I really appreciate you answering my previous email in a video. Your advice was very insightful. I would like to get your opinion on something which has been on my mind this week. Uh, this will be a random question. But in your opinion, do you think it's really possible for men in general to pin down women who are nines and tens? I will admit to you that throughout my whole life, I've never pinned down a nine or a ten, but rather I have been more successful with women who are sevens and eights. I know you said one time in a video that a woman who is a seven or an eight can be seen, uh... As a 9 or a 10 in a man's eyes if she has a great personality. I find that the 9s and 10s I have come across, in general, they have been very receptive. But they are either not interested, have boyfriends, are engaged, are married, or choose men with certain lifestyles. Um, exam example, like luxury lifestyles. So to conclude, do you think it's easy or hard for men in general to get women who are absolute stunners that you see in magazines or in on Instagram etc and who have fantastic bodies like Melissa Ford all right so this is the thing because there's a lot to, to to you know talk about here right so what you're saying you know is in general can can you know guys get the nines and the tens and all this other stuff right now see this is the thing the answer would be yes and no right now, I would say yes, because what happens is, is that if a guy's on point, he's confident, and he actually goes and approach women and, you know, he's not scared to make shit happen. He will approach those nines and tens and he will get some of those nines and tens. And then I say no, because since you have a lot of guys out here who are uh, scared to approach women who aren't confident, you know, they're never going to get a nine out of ten. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now... You know, it gets even deeper when we look at this because what you have to understand is this. A 9 or a 10 is subjective, right? So, because it's subjective, that means that your success of getting a 9 or a 10 basically comes from your own mindset and how you interact with the girl. So, for example, like, you know, you know, when we talk about it being subjective, let's say, for example, like my dude Miles, a 10 to him would be, let's say we just talk about physically or whatever, a 10 to him would be like a dark skinned black chick with natural hair and she's thick with a fatty. You understand what I'm saying? That, that's, that's a 10 to Miles. You feel what I'm saying? And then, so for example, for me, you know, a 10 would be, let's say, like, you know, a white chick with a fat ass. Um, you know, and like nice lips or whatever. You understand? So I'm just using that as an example to say that if Miles saw the white girl that I thought was a 10, he'd probably think she's like a six or a seven. And then if I saw the black girl that he thought was a 10, I'd probably think she's a six or a seven. Right. And so if let's say, for example, if Miles was nervous to interact with that black chick, it'll probably be hard for him to get her. Because he's projecting a dude who has, you know, some sort of insecurities, you know, he may be like, you know, a little bit like not sure of himself and that within itself will make the girl not really attracted to him if he's acting that way. But the reason he's acting that way is because he's looking at her as like this big deal. 
Versus if he was talking to the white girl that I thought was a 10, he'd probably be more relaxed and chill because he's like, well, she's, you know, she's all right. She's cool, whatever. And then she may end up wanting to fuck with him and vice versa. So if I'm seeing this white girl as the 10, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. And then let's say I'm nervous to talk to her and all this other shit. That'll make me not get her. But then if I'm talking to, you know, the chick that Miles thinks is a 10 and I'm just like, whatever, because I'm just like, she's all right to me. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of times your success when it comes to talking to these nines or tens is based off of your comfortability in the situation dealing with them because them being a nine or a 10 isn't a fact. It's just your opinion and your opinion. If you let your opinion dictate how you're going to act towards the woman, meaning putting her on a pedestal, that's going to determine whether or not in most cases you're going to get those nines or tens or not. You see, so a lot of this is coming from you. You see what I'm saying? It's coming from you. See, a lot of guys, they think, oh, well, you know, you can't get, you know, nines or tens or hot girls because, you know, they only want the super good looking guys and all this other stupid shit, right? Now, you know, those women don't want good looking guys and all that other stuff, right? But what you have to understand is, is that water seeks its own level, Right? So sometimes what will happen is, and this is why you'll sometimes see a chick, a bad chick that you think is like a 10 or 9 or 10 with an average guy, right? Because let's say that average guy is, you know, he's just like a regular dude. Like, you know, he's just, you know, the average guy. He's not, he's not like this player dude. He's just a cool dude, you know, but he, he may have a little insecurities here and there. You know what I'm saying? He's just a regular guy, right? And so... When he sees that hot girl, that hot girl that you think is maybe a 9 or a 10, she doesn't think she's a 9 or a 10, right? Because the average guy that's looking at her, the average guy thinks he's like a 6. And he sees that hot chick, but that hot chick, she thinks she's a 6 or a 5. You understand what I'm saying? Even though in your mind, you're looking at her as a 9 or a 10, she thinks she's a 5 or a 6, so then when she, you know, talks to this average guy, she's comfortable with him because she feels like he, him and her are at the same level. You see what I'm saying? And then this also explains sometimes why you see a bad chick, you try to holler at her and she may, you know, you think she's a nine or a 10, but she thinks she's a five or a six. And, but then she thinks that you're a nine or a 10. You understand? And then so you try to holler at her and then you end up not getting with her. And you think you're not getting with her because she's bad. She's hot. You feel what I'm saying? And you're not good enough. For, you're not, you know, you're not good enough for her. That's what you're thinking. But she's really thinking she's not good enough for you. You understand? Because you're, she sees you as above her level. Even though you think she's hot, she doesn't think she's as hot as you think. Which is why you don't get her. Because what you have to understand or remember about women is this. A woman's rejection uh, usually comes later. So what that means is, is that a woman should get with a guy. The guy will sleep with her maybe once or twice and never call her again. So that's a rejection to her. But that happens after the fact. So when she sees you and you're seeing her, you're thinking she's a dime. You're trying to get with her. She thinks she's a five or a six. And she thinks that you're a nine or a ten. And she's like, I can't fuck with this guy. He's, he's out of my league. Because if I do fuck with him, he's probably going to have sex with me once or twice and then never call me again. And I don't want to have to deal with those emotions. So therefore, she rejects you off the bat. But you're thinking she's rejecting you because you're thinking, oh, she's out of your league. She's too hot. That's why she doesn't want me. You know what I'm saying? And she's thinking you're the nine or a ten. You're thinking you're probably a seven or a six. You know, it's like, so again, a lot of this stuff is, is subjective, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, water seeks its own level. So what's going to happen is, is that if you see a hot girl, but she has extreme low self-esteem or she's really insecure, right? She'll probably get with the average dude first before she gets with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be, you know, this on point high value guy and she probably still won't get with you because she doesn't believe she's at your level. You understand? Now, the other end of the spectrum is that you may see a woman who's hot, a nine or a ten, and she may be, you know, confident. She may 
uh, see herself as high value, right? And so when it comes to this, in order to get those girls, those hot women, to, to um, you know, to to want to get with you, you also have to be that high value guy because again, what is seeks seeks his own level. So if she feels she's high value, she wants a guy who's high value. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times, the reason why some of these guys can't get these hot high value chicks, you understand what I'm saying? Is because they themselves aren't high value. So she's, you know, a super attractive woman, but in order to get her, you have to be a super attractive guy. You understand? And when I say super attractive guy, it's not just looks for all you looks matter people. You know what I'm saying? Looks can have part to do with it. But when you talk about an attractive guy, it's overall to where she sees you as high value and she wants to fuck with you because she also sees herself as high value. Right. So you're going to have, you know, um, like the, the, the two different types of hot chicks. You feel what I'm saying? You have the one who sees herself as low value. So she's going to get with a, another guy she sees as low value. And then you got the chick who sees herself as high value and she's going to want to get with the guy she sees as high value. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so when it comes to you asking, you know, can, you know, the everyday type of guy get a chick like that. Yeah, he can if he applies himself and it goes after the chick because a guy who's the average guy or the below average guy, even he can approach the hot chick who sees herself as low value and still get her. Right. And then the guy who's high value can approach the hot chick who is, who sees herself as high value and get her. You see what I'm saying? The problem will, will will be when a when a guy who sees himself as low value try to holler at, um, you know, a chick who sees herself as high value, and then it's also going to be a problem when a guy who's high value hollers at a hot chick who sees herself as low value. You see what I'm saying? So this this see this 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 shit gets deep. This is why I always laugh at dudes when they talk about oh it's just about looks it's just about looks. I'm like nigga you you're so simple minded if you think this because a, a lot of the attraction. And a lot of the, you know, the, you know, what goes into this stems from a lot of different things. You see what I'm saying? Because again, one, you know, what you deem is a nine or a 10 is subjective to you. What that girl deems as a nine or a 10 is subjective to her. How she sees herself, you understand what I'm saying, is subjective to her. You see what I'm saying? And th that all plays a part when you approach and you interact with these women. You see what I'm saying? So you have to you have to understand that all of this comes into play, right? But when, you know, we talk about guys trying to get the hot girls and all of that, mostly it all boils down to, you know, are you willing to approach? Are you willing to go and do it. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's what it really boils down to. Are you willing to approach those hot girls? Because truth be told, a lot of times guys, they say they want a, 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 a bad chick. They want a dime, but most guys don't approach the dimes. You understand? They stay in that, in their comfort zone of, you know, I'm going to just approach the girls who I feel are sixes or sevens. And the reason why they'll do that is because they believe that they are themselves six and seven so the guy believes he's a six and seven so he's like well i'm gonna just approach the six and sevens you understand but the funny part here is there is no actual six and seven or nine or ten or eight in reality <laughs> you understand what i'm saying all of it is is how you perceive things like there's no there's no woman or man where it's a fact that this person's a ten or a nine, or eight, or a seven, or a six, or a five. There's no, there's no thing that it's a fact. It's all opinion. You understand? Because even other, you know, the other day I put up that that uh, you know video of me and Drake's baby mama. And if you look at the comments, and you know, I think it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of my subscribers. I think his name is Kings Ramses. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he he pointed out. He said, you know, it's funny that the comments because. Half the dude saying she look good. Half the dude saying she she don't look good. You see what I'm saying? So this it's always subjective. You see what I mean? And so 
a lot of times the reason why you will have problems getting the nines and the tens is because there's something within you that makes you think you can't get them. You see what I'm saying? That's all coming from you. You know what I mean? Your thoughts become your actions. So if you think you can only get sevens or sixes, then you're going to just do that. You know what I'm saying? If you think you can get eight, nines, and tens, you're going to go do that. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got to understand that aspect of the game, man. It's like when it comes to dealing with these, you know, hot chicks and you being able to get them, it all depends on your thought process, you know, your mindset, and that's going to determine how you act and how you approach these women. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is going to teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text the women. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.